Hello guys, welcome back to the C1 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily C1 Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the shear force and bending moment diagram of this problem. This is a problem given to us uh, having the two supports. One is a hinge and one is a rural. Uh, the uniformly distributed load X on the left side of the beam uh, and it is uh, a 2 kN per meter throughout the 5 meter length. While the other is like the uh, cantilever beam uh, in the uh, load X here is a 3 kN on the right side of the beam and concentrated load and, it's, uh, and it, it, it's at a distance of 9 meter from the left support. So we are going to find the shear force and bending moment diagram of this problem. So to find the shear force and bending moment diagram first we have to find the support reactions. This, let's consider this is this A point and this is the B point. So to find the support reactions, first we have to take the moment at one point it equal to zero. So we are taking that the moment at point A is equal to zero. Summation of the moment at this point is equal to zero. So now the let's suppose this reaction is acting upward RB. So we are going to take the moment at point A is equal to zero. So the first load is two kilonewton. So we have to find the resultant of this load. To find the resultant of this load, we will multiply the 2 into 5. 2 into 5, which comes out to be 10. So it means a 10 kN load is acting at this point, right? This is the method that how we convert the uniformly distributed load into concentrated load. We will multiply the uniformly distributed load with the distance. So we will get the concentrated load which will act at the center of this beam now. 2 into 5. So 10 to 10 kN will act at the center and the moment arm here will be 2.5. The center of 5 is 2.5, 2.5 meter, right? So we are taking 2.5 meter, it will act in the clockwise direction, 2.5 meter, right? So the clockwise, we take the clockwise is positive, positive, right? The clockwise is positive and anti-clockwise is negative. So now this RB is acting at the anticlockwise at point A. Anticlockwise. So we will take minus RB into moment arm is 5 meter. Again, this is acting clockwise, so positive 3 into the moment arm is 4 into 5. So total will be 9 meter is equal to 0. The total summation of moment at point A is equal to 0. Right? So now we will transfer this onto the right side. So to find the RB, so 5RB will be equal to the 2 into 5 into 2.5. It comes out to be, uh, by calculating this, it comes out to be 25 plus and 3 into 9, 27. So we will get that the RB is equal to the 52 and the 5 and RB comes out to be 10.4. By dividing this 5 by 5, 52, we get the answer of RB 10.4. So the reaction of RB here is 10.4 kN, right? Now, what will be the RA? This is unknown to us, RA. So we can find it easily by taking that the summation of the vertical forces is equal to zero, right? So the summation of vertical force will be zero. One is the RA is acting upward. The RB is also acting upward, which is 10.4 and the other are acting downward. So here is a 2 is uniformly distributed load to, con to convert it to concentrated load. We multiply it with the 5. So 2 into 5, 10. 10 is acting downward and the minus 3 is also acting downward is equal to 0. So these are summation of vertical forces. So now the RA will be equal to the transferring all these values and to the right side to get, to get the RA. So 10.4 will become out to be negative 10.4 and these will be the positive plus 10 and plus 3 right so now by adding and subtracting these we will get the values of 2.6 kN it means that the support reaction RA is 10.6 sorry 2.6 this is RA is 2.6 kN it means that the two reactions are able to resist this load which are but the one reaction is 10.4 and the other one is 2.6. So now we, we will go to find the shear force and bending moment diagram from these two reactions. 
So, so now to find the shear force diagram, we will draw the reference lines first. These are the reference lines for the shear force and bending moment diagram, right? So, shear force here represented by V and in kilonewton, right? Because the units here are used are in kilonewton. So, to start the shear force diagram, we are going to start it from the left side of the beam. The R is 2.6 kN and RB is 10.4 kN. We first determine these two reactions. Now, to start here, the R is acting at here 2.6, so we will move this up to 2.6 kN. This is 2.6, right? Then uniformly distributed load is acting in the downward direction. So now it, I will subtract this from the 2.6. So how much I will subtract? 2 into 5, 10. So I will subtract 2 is acting upward, minus 2 into 5, 10. 10 is acting downward. So it comes out to be minus 7.4 kN. So it means that the minus 7.4 is acting downward. Right? This is 7.4 now, but it's minus 7.4. Because 2.6 was acting upward, but now we will subtract the 2 into the distance of 5 meter throughout the beam. So it comes out to be minus 7.4. So now the shear force comes on the under portion of the reference line. Right? So now we will again do the uh, this, uh, reaction. It is acting upward, 10.4. So minus 7.4 plus 10.4. This comes out to be 3. So it means I will move up to the plus 3, which is upward. Because upward is always positive, plus 3. This is also plus because it is upward. So plus 3 and then if there is no load, so I will move straight on. And then 3, so I will come down to be 0. This is a 0 reference line. So this is now the shear force diagram of this beam, right? So now I'm going now to draw the bending moment diagram from this shear force diagram. So to draw the bending moment diagram, First I, will, first, I will draw the reference line for the bending moment, bending moment, in the unit of kilonewton and meter, right? So these are the reference lines. Now to find the bending moment diagram, I have, I have to find the areas of each, of each shape. First, I have to find the area of this, of this portion, then the, this portion, and then this portion. Then we, have, then we will get the moment diagram. So to find the area of this moment, we know that this is a triangle and this portion is 2.6 while this portion is unknown to us. The hole is 5 meter. This is 5 meter. We see the hair. But we don't know that how much this portion is. X is unknown to us. So to find this, we can do it because we know the 2.6 is acting upward and the 2 kN is acting downward, but we don't know up to which kN it acts it makes the shear force here zero, right? So we multiply it with x is equal to zero. The point where it makes the shear force is equal to zero, we call is the x is equal to zero. The shear force is now is equal to zero, right? So 2x will be equal to the 2.6 and x comes out to be, the x distance comes how, here comes out to be, 1.3 meter right by dividing this 2.6 by 2 we get the 1.3 meter so it means this distance is now 1.3 meter and the subtracting 1.3 from the 5 we will get this distance the respective distance which is 3.7 meter so the total distance is 5 meter but we are required this distance because to find the area of this shape and, and to find this, uh, 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 this distance, we follow the method that the shear force should must be zero at this distance, which is x. So we found out. Now the area of this is, the area can be found out now easily. It can be easily found out that the half, this is the triangle, so it will be equal to the half, and to base is 1.3, and to height is 2.6. Height is 2.6 here. So we come, we comes out to be, 1.69. So this is the area of this of this shape. So the area of this shape, it means I will move this up to this point. 
because we found out the area up to this point, it is 1.69 now. Similarly, the area of this shape, we will find the area of this shape, and from this area, we will add or subtract this to the 1.69, we will get the bending moment diagram. So now it is the uh, uh, below the reference line, so we will take this area as negative, and we will subtract this from the 1.69. So in the similar case, again, we are going to find the area. So the area of this shape is the triangle, so half into base into height, base is 3.7, and the height is 7.4, 7.4. So by multiplying and dividing these, we get the area of 13.69, right? So now this is in the downward direction, so I will say minus, because this shear force is in downward direction from the reference line, and this is in upward direction. So we will subtract this from the 1.69, and so it comes out to be here in the downward direction, and it comes out to be 12, minus 12, right? It is minus 12 now, because when we subtract this 13.69 from the 1.69, we comes out to be minus, because this is greater portion. Now again, the area of this shape is required. This is a rectangle shape, so its area can be easily determined. The length of this is 4 meter and the height of this is 3. So we can multiply these two, 3 into 4, 12. So this is 12. So adding into this because this is again upward portion and this is downward portion. So we will add this because it is upward portion. So 12 minus 12, it comes out to be 0. It, it comes out to be 0, right? And this should be the 1 degree line. Because the shear force is 0 degree line, so it is 1 degree line. The shear force is, uh, here is 1 degree line and it should be 2 degree line. It should be remembered that the bending moment diagram is also 1 degree higher, is always 1 degree higher than the shear force diagram. So we get the bending moment 0 at the right support. So this was the method how to find the shear force in bending moment diagram. You can find the shear force in bending moment diagram of uh, any type of uh, problem uh, given to you but you should remember this some steps first you have to find the support reactions then you have to find the shear force and then you have to find the area of each shape to find the bending moment diagram respectively and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily seven engineering videos thank you for watching our video